Hello everyone, I'm Adam and this is Ghost Coders. Today we're talking about AngularJS's end of life announcement. Let's get started. Alright, AngularJS made a huge announcement back a few months ago that they were ending support of AngularJS on June 30th of 2021. 1.7 is the last big release of AngularJS. This really saddens me, but let's get into a few things before we start talking about my thoughts. The first thing that I want to talk about is existing projects. Existing projects that I personally have worked on are still running in software in Fortune 500 companies today. All of that is going to have to be rewritten, and I'll tell you why. The reason for it is big companies care a lot about security. And if something like AngularJS is no longer supported, security flaws and issues are not going to be patched. So scans that are happening, audits that are happening, they're going to require AngularJS after June 30th of 2021 to no longer be used in any software for a lot of these big companies. So existing projects, we got to start making a plan today for how we're going to rewrite all of this massive amount of code in these big projects to support AngularJS going forward. Or not to support AngularJS going forward, to support something else going forward, but to remove AngularJS from our projects. That is huge. The amount of money that's going to cost companies is just astronomical to me. And I'm telling you right now, this is not a simple thing. This is a huge announcement by Angular and the Google um, infrastructure that has been supporting AngularJS for such a long time. What about new projects? So new projects, I think now we have to sit back and, and we no longer have the option of AngularJS on the table for anything new, even if it's something small and we don't want all the dependencies that new Angular brings to the table. We have to find something else that secures all the holes that are found immediately and we have to find something that has a long time, a uh, long roadmap ahead of it. So something that isn't going to go away anytime soon. That could be just going to the new Angular. The thing with new Angular is the dependencies that that brings in are not small. So you're bringing in a lot of just regular like boilerplate code just to get Angular uh, up and running. And if you're, you're talking about like a single page application, something really lightweight and small, Maybe Angular isn't the best choice anymore. Maybe it's Vue.js. Maybe going something like React is even better. Maybe Aurelia is even better. This will be very interesting, but I think the one thing for sure, for new projects, we should never use AngularJS anymore. And again, that makes me really sad. New programmers. I've always told new programmers, jump into AngularJS. Super easy to get up and running. You literally drop in a JS file and you get going. New programmers, that isn't the thing anymore. There's really gonna be no reason for you to learn AngularJS anymore. You should go right over to TypeScript and New Angular, and I, that's starting from today, honestly. Because five years from now, AngularJS should be a thing of the past. There may still be some archaic code running around, but anything that is substantial in large companies really has to be rewritten if they're doing security audits the way they should be. Do I think there's any chance that this will change? Honestly, I really do. Like this is not getting as much attention as I thought it would be. And it's already got a lot of attention, so don't get me wrong, but this is gonna cost companies a ton of money. But June 30th of 2021 seems like a long way away, but it really isn't. Software takes a while to write. And if we're rewriting these large applications, that rewrite kind of needs to start happening right now. So. I think the pushback as we get closer to that date is going to be pretty enormous. And I really have a feeling that that's going to get either extended or maybe another long uh, LTS version will be supported after that. I could be really wrong about this, but you need to not. I mean, that is just my feeling about it. And I would not bet any of your software on that. Like we need to go as if June 30th is drop dead date. We need to be off of AngularJS by that point. Finally, my thoughts on this, I love AngularJS. It's really what made me fall back in love with web development. Prior to that, I had utilized something uh, called Knockout, which a lot of people have never heard of. And 
jQuery. So jQuery and Knockout, they just weren't fun for me to work with. AngularJS came around and I fell in love with web development. So I'm sad about that because it, I feel like it's something that has stood the test of time, works amazingly well for lightweight applications, of course has its quirks, but has been supported really well. Um, and I'm a huge fan of just vanilla JavaScript. And I know you can do that with regular Angular, but really TypeScript's the way to go. I mean, they're pushing that pretty hard. So anyway, my thoughts on this are that I'm, I'm really sad about it. And June 30th, uh, 2021, it's going to be a really, really sad day because that's the end of any support for AngularJS at that point. And I guess what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to embrace something like Vue.js, something that's really lightweight that allows me to do some of the simple applications I need without bringing in all these external dependencies because AngularJS served that for me for so many years now. Well, that's it, coders. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But until next time, keep coding.